All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings and salutations to the old for elect. All right, believe in me in the gospel of truth and sincerity. All right? All right, we are the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, the chosen people of the Most High. All right, if you haven't heard, you know, if you come across this video, all right, the chosen people of God. All right, and his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is, uh, is Yahweh Shai, man. All right, in these last days, yo, all right, a lot of things getting ready to happen, man. All right, that's what we out here to do. Preach the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Preach the downfall of Babylon the Great. You know, preach salvation unto our people. All right, because this is what this is what matters to us, man. To hell with these other nations. All right, to hell with Esau, Edom. You know what I'm saying? What matters is the elect. And that's why the, the Lord got us out here to preach the word. You know what I'm saying? Because when we preach the word, the elect is going to hear, all right? And the elect is going to repent. As a matter of fact, let me start off with that scripture right there, man. All right? And I'm under here today because it's kind of windy and it's kind of, um, you no know, sprinkling. You know what I'm saying? So I'm actually on a, in a different spot today. So the rain ain't, ain't hitting me too much, you know? But this is John chapter 10 and verse 27. And it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. All right, and the sheep is talking about the believers, man. All right, those that believe in Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shah. All right, because, you know, during the past couple of days, man, it's been, a, you know, it's been a, a lot of, you know, a lot of guys, you know, coming out saying that, you know, Yahweh Shah is not to be worshipped or they're coming in that energy, man. All right, Yahweh Shah is the son of the Most High God, Yahweh, man. All right, that's our Lord and Savior. He's the one who's going to take us out of this condition, man. All right, so anybody saying that Yahweh Shai don't matter, we don't worship the sun, all right, you got to check yourself, man. All right, we're going back to John 10 and uh, 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. All right, the sheep is the believers, man, the Israelites. All right, all right, the sheep can only be of the nation of Israel. All right, the, the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is not dealing with the other nations. All right, hey, the scripture says that he liking the other nations like spit, man. All right, in 2 Ezra, the sixth chapter. He said that they are like spittle unto him, all right, like a drop of a bucket. All right, the Lord ain't dealing with them. But continuing on, it says, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. All right, and that's talking about, you know, the elect. You know, and this is what we're preaching out here, man, the good news, all right, immortality, all right, uh, uh, authority. All right, power is coming to the elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right, and, and you know what I'm saying? I've been thinking about it lately, all right. Nothing, nothing, uh, 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 nothing comes on top of that, man. All right, we're about to get authority, Lord willing, you know, we endure until the end. We're about to receive power, man, by, by Lord Yahweh Shah. All right, so to hell with what somebody's telling me, you know, to hell with a nigga telling me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to get juiced up. All right, oh, I look crazy. If you're going to call me crazy, you call me a maniac, all right? If you're going to call me fool, call me stupid. All right, whatever you want to do, but you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's whatever, man. But our Lord Yahweh Shah is coming. All right, he's coming with, you know, like the scriptures say, healing in his wings. All right, for the elect, he's coming with healing. But for the rest of these people out here that did not want to listen, all right, you know, two thirds of our people that did not want to listen, all right, they're about to receive, all right, this, uh, uh, the sword, man. All right, they're about to go through famine, you know. And that's why we out here, man. We're out here to preach both good and bad, man. All right, with the Lord getting ready to do on the right hand side and on the left hand side, man. All right. And matter of fact, I want to go to um, <clears throat> Second Ezra. Second Ezra, man, because this is how we map out the times, man. This is how we understand what time that we're living in. All right, this is Second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, uh, then shalt thou understand that it is the uh, very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right? And as we're seeing, man, a lot of a lot of a lot of things are happening. All right, all right. Did this chick Kamala Harris uh, done got put in office? All right, which hey, we're gonna con we're gonna continue to watch. Right, we're gonna continue to watch, man. But you know what I'm saying? As far as you know, Esau like to play these little games, man. Cause that's what they're doing. They're playing games with the people. All right, but Kamala Harris being put in office may turn into uh, something permanent, man. All right. Cause hey, what they gonna say? Oh, Joe Biden's not fit to be in office no more. All right, hey, we may have to leave Kamala in there because Joe Biden is no, uh, is not in the condition to uh, be running the, uh, you know, be running the uh, U.S., the U.S.A. All right, 
Hey, that's something that they can do, man. All right, but ultimately, it's in the hands of Yahweh by Shimei All right, because a hey, scripture in Proverbs 21 and 1 say, At the hand of the Lord, the, the heart of... Let me get it real quick. Shalakia. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turns it to whithersoever he will, man. You know? So, I just quoted it, you know, so I ain't going to get it. But, um, yeah, the Lord is in control of it all. All right, so whether they put, whether they leave Kamala Harris in there or not, it's up to the Lord. All right, it's the Lord's decision. All right, but ultimately, that's a sign to us, man. All right, you done had a blood moon pass by. All right, young Dove done got shot and killed. All right, so a lot of stuff is going on right now, you know. And, um, you know, the, the Kyle Rittenhouse case. All right, so all of this is happening at the same moment, at the same time, man. So we can expect a lot of crazy shit to happen, man. You know, it says, verse 3, Therefore, when, the, when there shall be uh, seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right? And we're seeing earthquakes, uh, 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 uproars of the people, you know? All right? And it's only going to get worse, man. All right? Definitely um, here in the USA, all right, when that, with that Kyle Rittenhouse case, all right, a lot of people are not going to take that lightly, man. You know what I'm saying? Also, you know, you, you know, you know, uh, you know, you have people uh, set up to, um, you know, cause that uproar to people. All right, you got the BLM, Antifa, our Proud Boys, our who are who are also, you know, uh, uh, paid off agents to stir up shit, man. But at the end of the day, prophecy is still being fulfilled. All right, people are going to be in an uproar. All right, which is going to, hey, which is going to cause more division in Babylon the Great, which is a beautiful thing, man, because we need this to happen in order for us to get the hell up out of here. All right, because if the chaos don't happen, if the destruction don't happen, that means that we're not, you know what I'm saying, prophecy is not happening, we cannot get out of here. But we're hastening the day of our Lord. All right, we want the destruction to come. All right, we want Esau to come out, come after us, man. You know, because all this is written to happen, all right, in order for us to get the kingdom, if we endure. Okay, on um, verse 5, it says, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is, is manifest. Even so, time, so like even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings, and wonders and powerful works, and endings in, the, in, in, in effects and signs. Right? Because you know that blood moon was a, was a huge indicator for us, man. All right? They say it wasn't uh, it, it wasn't one since you no know, um, 1440, which that is uh, 144, man. All right? So that's a major sign to the elect that the Lord is giving, man. And they say that you know it wasn't you no. Know, it hasn't been that long. I can't remember off the top of my head, Salaki, but they say it wasn't that long since the year 1440. But 1440, 144, man, showing me that the Lord is giving us signs, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we almost home, man. All right? And as I was watching brothers' videos, you know, camp videos, you know what I'm saying? I was hyped up in the spirit, man. Hey, we almost out of here, man. All right? So like I said earlier in, in, in the camp video, man, to hell with what niggas saying, man. All right? To hell with what niggas doing. All right, whatever. Hey, they look down on us. Hey, to hell, they look down on me extra hard, man. Because, you know, I right, talk talk extra shit about me, man. Because, uh, what's getting ready to happen? All right, you know what I'm saying. What's getting ready to happen in the world? You know what I'm saying. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be my new compared to the hell. You know what I'm saying. That, it's lucky. What what we're gonna catch by the hell that we're gonna catch when Esau, you know, demonized. You know, I kind of lost my train of thought, but it's lucky. The hell that we're going to catch is going to be my new compared to the hell that these people out here are going to catch. All right, because I always think to myself, you know, them calling us names, them making fun of us. and this, That's only for a moment. It's not going to last forever, man. All right? It's not going to last forever because, you know, these people these people got to go through their uh, judgment after we do. Uh, go through our tribulation. So like, yeah. After we go through our tribulation, all right, uh, our hardcore tribulation, these people got to go through uh, the tribulation. All right, which we're still going to be going through tribulation, of course. You know, Jacob's trouble. But the elect is going to make it out of it. All right. But the non-elect is going to get destroyed through Jacob's trouble, man. All right. Continue reading. And it says, <clears throat> verse 7, and every, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. All right. All right. The believers, man, my sheep hear my voice and they, uh, they follow me. You know, roughly paraphrasing what I just read. As a matter of fact, let me read that again. John 10 and 27. It says, but uh, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them. As a matter of fact, let me start at uh, 26 this time. Yahweh shall, uh, 25. Yahweh shall answer them. I told you, and you believe me not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, 
because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. All right, so the sheep of the Lord, all right, is not going to be delivered. Uh, the sheep of the Lord are the ones that are going to believe. All right, the unbelievers are going to be uh, stay down here and be destroyed, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why we don't. That's why we don't care what people say, man. All right, we don't care how people look at us, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to. Uh, they're gonna have to come face to face with prophecy. All right, they're gonna have to, because the scripture says that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, man. All right, so whatever these people say about us, whatever they think about us, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to uh, give account for that, man. Whether it be through famine, all right, whether it be through the, the sword, destruction, they're gonna have to answer that, man. All right, because you don't just get away scotch free. All right, because when you mock, hey, look, when you mock the men of the Lord, you're ultimately mocking the Lord Himself. All right, because there's a chain of command. All right, you have Yahweh, all right, then you have Yahweh Shai, all right, then you have the prophets, all right, then you have the rest of the believers, man. You know, there's an order to this uh, to this ministry, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, ultimately, when you, when you, uh, when you mock the men of the Lord, you mock the Lord, all right, you, lock, you mock Yahweh Shai, and then you mock Yahweh, man, all right, which the Lord take great offense to that, man, all right, and when I'm, when, when I'm saying this, I'm talking to our people, man, are you so-called blacks? All right, let me get my 12 tribes on again. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? Let me get that good so we can see it. We are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. All right? And, and it's time to repent, man. Because let me get one of my scriptures, you know, uh, one of my favorite scriptures. Isaiah 55 and 6. You know, and I'm going through the spirit, man. I didn't really have anything lined up, man. All right, whatever the spirit give me, you know what I'm saying, it's coming out. Okay? Um, this is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Isaiah 55 and verse 6, you say, and I like the spot that I'm at today because it's not too many people, or I don't like being in spots where it's all, you know what I'm saying, all crowded. All right, too much noise. All right, I just want to bring the word out, you know. And, uh, and whoever, whoever pass by and they see, they see, man. And whoever come by and listen, they listen. But I don't like going to, to places where it's crowded, you know, too much noise. All right, just want to bring out the word in peace, man. All right, this is Isaiah 55 and verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right? And the Lord is near right now, man. The fact that I'm out here, the fact that other brothers are out here preaching this word, the Lord is still near. You know, you'll know when the Lord is not near no more when you see all hell break loose, man. Because when all hell break loose, that's going to be the Lord saying, you know what? All right, it's over. All right, put the prophets away. All right, put my put my, put, put my prophets away. All right, it's time to stop preaching this word. It's time for judgment to go forth. All right, and for those that didn't listen, all right, you were warned. All right, the warning is going, on, the warning is going out right now. All right. It says, seek you the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. All right? And that's the, and that's the sure mercy of, of, of the Lord, man. All right? The Lord tells you if you repent, all right, he will pardon you, man. All right? But it got to be in truth and sincerity. You know what I'm saying? All right? The Lord is not telling you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is not telling you if you repent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's not going to hear you. All right, like the scriptures say, man. All right, He will abundantly pardon. All right, if you repent, if you return from your wicked ways of this world, man. See us, we're hoping. All right, we've repented from the ways of this world, but we're still hoping for salvation, man. Because we're not, you know what I'm saying? We're guaranteed salvation if we if we endure. All right, but we, that's but we're still hoping because um, you know what I'm saying? We don't know if we're of the elect. But we pray that we are, and we're doing the works, so the Lord may have mercy upon us, man. All right? But well, let me get that in Ecclesiastes. All right? Because we always got to stay humble in this thing, man. All right? Because the minute Jake, you know what I'm saying? The minute Jake, you know, let's hypothetically speaking, speaking, if Jake knew that he was of the elect, you know, hey, Jake was bullshit, man. All right? And that's why the Lord got it set up like that. You know what I'm saying? That, hey, that's why, that's the beautiful thing that the Lord got it set up like that, man. Because, hey, it's also, it's scary. But also, it's a beautiful thing because, you know, we're doing we're, we're doing the work with with fear and trembling. All right, this is Ecclesiastes, chapter two and verse ten. It say, 
look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise, despise that called upon him? You know, because we're doing this work with fear and trembling, man. All right, how about Shem Yahweh Shai gave us, gave us this truth? All right, told us to go preach this truth. And we're doing it with fear and trembling in hopes that we will be delivered from this coming destruction. You know what I'm saying? In hopes that we will be delivered, that we will be fed in famine. All right, because a lot of these people, you know, a lot of these people you see out here are, are going to be like 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 walking six, man. All right, they're they're, they're about to be uh, they're about to be reckless out here, man. All right, we see food prices even right now, people losing their minds, man. All right, food prices are rising, the meat prices are going up. All right, and they're losing their mind. How much more when the food go out, man? All right, how much more when the food go out? You know, cannibalism is going to come back. All right, what you see, what what you see as uh so-called brotherly love among these people is going to go away or right, it's going to be a uh, dog eat dog world out here you know but um it says look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him all right so we're, we're, hey, we're guaranteed that if we stay and we endure to the end we guarantee salvation because yahweh said that he that endure to the end the same shall be saved right so, hey, if we, hey, if we are, you know, through this trouble, through this coming trouble, through this destruction, if we, if we continue to call upon the name of the Lord, He will hear us because none of our forefathers are right, that called upon the Lord was ever forsaken, man. Are right, every one of them, you know, that called. Hey, King David is a prime example of that. All right, in his in, in his times of trouble, he called upon Yahweh by Shem What did the Lord do? He delivered him, man. All right, He delivered King David. All right, and, and, and you know what I'm saying, Daniel and the lions and the three holy children. Now, I love to go back to those stories whenever I'm referencing that scripture, man, because that's the record, you know, of the Lord, you know, moving in, into action for his uh, for His people, man. All right. Going back to uh, to Egypt. All right. What did the Lord do? He, he heard the cry of the children of Israel and he delivered us, man. All right. That, that, that's the record right there of the Lord. All right. Moving into action for his people. All right. How much more in the times are like never before? All right. What well, great things is getting ready to happen. The Lord's about to show his power in a, in a great way, man. You know? And that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, we're going to go through the trouble. Yeah, we're going to be in the midst of it. But we're hoping to be delivered out of it. We're, we're hoping to see the salvation of our Lord. All right? <clears throat> so like, let me get this real quick. Let me get this in Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse um, 33. Okay, this chapter right here, this um, this scripture right here, it explains beautifully, all right, what we're hoping for, right? This is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah, all 12 tribes, right? Because the children of uh, the children of uh, Israel are, in this scripture, it's talking about the northern kingdom. The children of Judah is talking about the southern kingdom, right? But collectively, we're all 12 tribes of Israel, Right? Saying that all 12 tribes were oppressed together. Oppressed under who? The so-called white man. All right? And coming into these times, all right, they're, they're really about to clamp down on the oppression, man. It's going to get worse. All right? You can already see it with this, um, you can always see, already see it with this, uh, you know, this juice, this jibber-jabber, man. All right? And, and, and what? In Australia? In Austria? All right? They already got those hardcore restrictions in. All right? But all that is coming to America. Why? Right? You know what I'm saying? Because Esau know that he got a short time left. All right, knowing that he got a short time left, he's about to come down with great wrath, man. All right, he's about to put those restrictions down on America, and and you about to see these Americans lose it, man. All right, these red-blooded American Edomites, they're about to lose it because they're gonna they're gonna see that their um they're gonna see that their constitution is under attack. All right, and they and, and they live and die for that constitution, man. All right, but that's not gonna avail. Why? Because the elite, you know what I'm saying? The elite. All right, they want this to happen, right? Right? Because they can bring the toys out. All right. They're gonna put that blessing to use. All right, they got they got weapons that we don't even know about. But hey, they're gonna they're gonna bring the toys out, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, these people about to hey, all these people here in America are about to get the smoke, man. All right, but ultimately they're the hey, the elites are the sword of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, and that's why this is comforting because we know ultimately, all right, who's in control. All right, Esau is on the left hand of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and the Lord is gonna use him, all right, to bring judgment on this earth. All right. But on the right hand side is where Yahweh is sitting, man. Alright, and that's where we're hoping, alright, 
uh, that's what that's what we're hoping for the Lord to do is to move that right hand to save us, man. All right, send his son Yahweh Shah to save us. But let me read this. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives, held them fast, they refused to let them go. All right, Esau, hey, Esau is trying to um, uh, put us into captivity forever, man, with this new world order, man. All right, this um, no, uh, this metaverse, all right, this this uh, this dig digital, you know what I'm saying? This, this it's hard to see, man. Digital, all right, uh, 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 new world order, man. Put it like that. Esau is trying to enslave the children of Israel, cause that's really what he wants. All right. Ultimately, he's trying to enslave the world, but really, who he wants is the children of Israel, Yashar Allah, man. All right. That's who he's. That, that's who he's. Uh, his agenda is targeted after. All right. He doesn't want to let us go. All right. But what does what does thirty four say? Their redeemer is strong. The Lord of Hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly, thoroughly plead their cause. That he may give rest to the land and the quiet inhabitants of Babylon. All right, our redeemer is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, Yahweh is going to save us through Yahweh Shah. And I feel like you know I'm, I, I may have to say this in every lesson now. All right, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah. I may have to explain that Yahweh is going to deliver us through His Son Yahweh Shah. All right, because you no, know, we have to, man. We got to. All right, because a lot of people are making light of our Lord Yahweh Shah. A lot of people are not taking our Lord seriously, but. Hey, the Lord has a major role in our salvation. All right, Yahweh Shah got a major role. Yahweh Shah is gonna come and you know and, 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 and free us, man. You know, Salat. <coughs> but Yahweh Shah got a major role in our salvation, man. All right, and we gotta exalt Yahweh Shah like John the Baptist said. Right? He must increase and I must decrease, man. All right, showing you that the Lord. All right, the Lord is the star of the show, man. Okay, I'm gonna go to um. Isaiah 47, because I want to get a point out of there. <clears throat> Isaiah 47. Put my toy traps on right here so people can see that. Because everybody's going to everybody's going to either see or hear the word being preached, man. All right. Because we live in some heavy times, man. This is the time where, all right, uh, uh, major uh, major judgment. Major exposure of the word is going through, man. All right, and, it, and it's a blessing to be a part of that, man. All right, and call Allah Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shah for giving me this truth. All right, for giving me the spirit to come out here and preach the truth, man. All right, Isaiah 47 and verse Isaiah 47 and verse one. I'm gonna start from verse one. Now, uh, the point is in verse four, but I'm gonna start from verse one. So we can get some edification out of this um out of the scripture. Isaiah 47 and 1 it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. The virgin daughter of Babylon is talking about here in America, man. Alright? And that dust represent confusion, man. Represent confusion. That's the state that these people are gonna are gonna be in. Alright? Because at one point in time, this place was called you know what I'm saying? The best place to be. All right. This place was. Hey, this place was the best place to come to. All right. That's why you see these other nations came here. All right. For vacations. All right. Set up their shops here, mainly in Jake neighborhood. All right. This was a, this. This place was called the Lady of Kingdoms. You know. Now the Lord is saying, come down and sit in the dust. All right. That confusion. Because now people are, are going to be in a confused state, man. All right. They're about to be in a confused state because of the, 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 the things getting ready to happen here, man. What I thought that this place was the best place in the world. What happened? All right? I thought America was the place to be. What happened? All right, confusion. Okay? And it says, um, take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the, the thigh, pass over the rivers, all right? Her exposure, all right? The Lord has put the spirit on his, on, on his prophets to expose America, to expose Esau, to expose the elite, all right, of the Edomites, man, all right, because for so long they've been able to, you know what I'm saying, uh, put everything under the rug, their wickedness under the rug, all right, now all that, now the rug is being lifted, all right, and we can see all the stink, the nastiness of Esau, Edom, man, all right, the hit through history, through what he did to our people, all right, through what they, through, through what they do even to, to, to this day, all right, the wickedness, the witchcraft, 
all right? All this is being exposed through the spear and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shot. You know what? As a matter of fact, let me get that in, um, let me get that in, um, uh, 2 Thessalonians, and I'm going to get straight to the point, man. All right, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse... Eight and it say, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And the spirit of the Lord's mouth is the prophets, man. All right. When you read Hosea chapter twelve and verse ten, it says that I have spoken by the prophets and the similitudes. Let me get it real quick. It's a lot here, man. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay in, uh, I'm trying to stay in order as possible, you know, on track as possible, you know. No, I'm just getting so much points. Um, Hosea 12 and 10, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the uh, ministry of the prophets. So this is how the Lord exposed the so-called the so white man. All right, starting with uh, um, Elder Abba Bivens, man. All right, the Lord put the spirit on him, all right, to, you know what I'm saying, like the elder and apostle said, to preach it how it shy. And from that point on, he taught, you know, the elders, you know, he taught the elders under him, all right, and the elders under him taught you know the elders that we have today man so on and so forth you know and ever since that time all right he saw the so-called white man have been getting heavily exposed man all right but going back to um going back to uh, let me see where i left off at second thessalonians right and we're talking about he saw his exposure right now right it's a even him whose coming is after the work of Slakia. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. Alright? Powers, you know, because that word working goes back to the word energia. Alright? Esau come in the energy of Satan, man. Alright? This is Satan in the flesh. Alright? Because, hey, if Satan was here on earth, He'd be he'd be the so-called white man, bro. All right, these people, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, they they're they're the wicked. But what I'm the point I'm trying to make make is that the energy that they're coming in is uh, wickedness, man. It's the energy of Satan, and all that is being revealed through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, because for so long they were looked at like uh, like as the people to be like, man. All right, they were they were looked at. All right, hey, if you if you don't have blonde hair and blue eyes. Then hey, that ain't it. All right, matter of fact, they made it look like we were the problem. All right, they made it look like you know what I'm saying. Full lips, or a full nose, or woolly hair, black woolly hair, or dark skin. They made it look like this was a problem here in America. Now it's being exposed. Now it's being. Now it's coming out that our Lord Yahweh Shah, our Lord Yahweh, all right, have have woolly hair. All right, have dark skin. You know what I'm saying. All this is coming out, and, and, and as this is coming out. You know what I'm saying? Esau is being exposed for the lives that he's per uh, perpetrated in the earth, that he's pushed through the earth, the ends of the earth, man. All right, because what does the scripture say in Revelation 20 that, you know, that Satan would be loosed, all right, and to deceive the nations, all right? The first thing that the white man came out, uh, first thing that the white man did when he came out of the Caucasus Mountains was deceive, bro, was to, was to deceive, man. This man is, the, uh, is, is Satan, okay? But continuing on, it say, Verse 3, thy nakedness, O, o Salakia. Continuing on 2 Thessalonians. It say, uh, And with all the feeble witness of unrighteousness that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And that's talking about our people, man. All right, Jake is all into this beast system. They're hooked into this beast system, man. All right? Esau got two-thirds, man. But the elect will not be got, uh, gotten, man. All right? Because Yahweh Shah said that the elect will not be plucked out of his father's hand. As a matter of fact, in that same chapter, in uh, John 10 and 20, uh, I believe 28, it says the same thing. Esau got two-thirds, man. All right, they're going to be deceived into taking the RFID microchip. All right? And I'm speaking like this for a reason because I know dude back there hear me. All right? But John 10 and 28, and they say, <clears throat> verse 28, I'm going to start from 27 again, you know. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. All right, and that's talking about the elect. Esau is not going to be able to uh, pluck the elect out of the uh, Yahweh Shai or the Heavenly Father's hand. Right? My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, 
and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. No deception that Esau come out with will deceive the elect. All right, Yahweh said, if it were possible, he would be able to deceive the very elect, but it is not possible. Meaning that it's not possible to pluck the elect out of the father's hand, man. All right, the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh already have the elect sealed from the foundation of the world. All right. The Lord already had two-thirds two ordained from the foundation of the world, man. All right? So prophecy is just is already in motion, moving, man. You know? The Lord already have everything mapped out. And that's why, like I was saying earlier, that's why we pray to be part of the elect. If we don't know that we're part of the elect, but we pray that we are part of the elect. All right? We pray that we're, we were those first spirits are from the foundation of the world created for salvation, man. Created, you know, for, for, for that glory, man. All right? To be delivered. All right? This is... um. Verse 3, thy nakedness shall be uncovered of uh, Isaiah 47. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Right? Because Yahweh Shai is coming back as an angel, man. All right? Not, you're not coming back as you did 2,000 years ago. All right? As a, uh, you know what I'm saying, as a mortal, so to speak. He's coming back in his immortal glorified body, man. All right? He's coming back full as a full, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, as a full angel, man, all right? That's what it means by he's not coming back as a man. Yeah, he's a man, but that means that he's coming back as an angel, man, to take down the so-called white man, all right, to destroy America. All right, Yahweh is coming with the host of heavens, all right, to destroy America while also delivering his elect, you know? Verse 4, as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel, all right? No, Yahweh is his name, but again, Yahweh is going to deliver us through his son Yahweh Shah. Alright? And to prove that point, let me get that real quick. Because, you know, a lot of Old Testament guys, alright, they say that, you know, in the Old Testament, it says, it says, I the Lord. It doesn't say anything about a son, but it says, I the Lord. But, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and, you know, I don't care if they, I, I really don't care if they don't believe in the New Testament or they say, oh, that's coming out of the New Testament. I'm talking about the Old Testament. This is the whole scripture. If it wasn't part of the word of the Most High, it wouldn't be in the Bible, man. All right, but it's in here. This is John chapter 14 and verse uh, 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. All right? Yahweh Shai is the way. All right? And that's how the Heavenly Father is going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel from our enemy, from the enemy. All right? That's how the, hey, that's how the Lord wrote it to happen for Yahweh Shai to come and deliver us. All right, to hell with what these niggas out here are saying, man. All right, and, you know, the past couple of days has been vexing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because to be in these times and to be speaking reckless like that, you know, you got to be either, you know what I'm saying, bugged out or you got to be, uh, you know, out of, you know what I'm saying? The Lord seriously have a, a, a spirit of uh, a reprobate on you, man. You know? To be saying shit like that. All right? But going continuing on the point that I was on, all right? Yahweh Shah is gonna come back to deliver us, man. All right, while simultaneously uh, 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 destroying this kingdom, this wicked empire, empire, our America, Babylon the Great. You know, as a matter of fact, I want to touch on Babylon the Great now, man. All right, and again, we're moving through the spirit, man. I ain't got nothing lined up, but you know, moving through the spirit, cause that's what we are to do. Because when this word go out, you know, what I'm saying like the Lord told Ezekiel to prophesy unto the wind, cause when this word go out, all right, it's making stuff happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though people don't listen, people don't watch, the fact that this word is going out, it's making stuff happen. All right? Just the energy going out from this word being peach, preached, all right, is bringing this kingdom down. I forget who said it. You know what I'm saying? They said um, every time this word is being, being uh, every day that this word is being preached, uh, uh, a part of this man's kingdom uh, goes down, man. You know what I'm saying? So what we're doing is not really in vain, man. All right? Preaching, preaching this word, looking foolish out here, it's not really in vain. All right, there's actually something happening out here, man. All right, there's actually, because look, when we preach this word, you know what I'm saying, the average person out here thinks that we're wasting our time. The average person out here thinks that nobody's listening and watching, but the elite is watching, man. All right, that's why we see things moving. Why? Because the elite are actually watching the prophets, listening to what the words that we're saying. All right, because they know what time it is, man. They're seeing the chariots. They're seeing the signs in the, in the heavens, man. So when they hear the word coming out through the prophets, the men of the Lord, they're actually moving. And as they're moving, things in the world is actually happening. All right? So when, when you really think about it, the Lord putting his, uh, the spirit on his men to preach the word, 
and, and then the elites are watching it. You know, and you know who the elites are, you know, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, all these devils, and they're watching, all right? They're saying, oh shit, and they're moving, all right? They're hastening their plans, and as their plans is hastening, all right, that's gonna lead to what? Chaos, that's gonna lead to disorder out here in Babylon the Great, man, all right? So, you know, to be part of this work, to be part of the downfall of Babylon the Great, man, preaching this, preaching the downfall of Babylon the Great is a beautiful thing, all right? And it's an honor, man, you know? But where was I going to, yeah, 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 I was going to touch on America, man, or right, being Babylon the Great, all right, because, because shortly hereafter, man, this is what's getting ready to happen, and like I said earlier in the lesson, that, um, like I said earlier in the lesson, we in those times, man, all right, we in those times were, like, when I say we in those times, I mean, I'm talking about we in those times, man, like, we're getting ready to see our Lord Yahweh shall return, man, all right, Yahweh shall is coming back in our lifetime. All right, America is going down in our lifetime. All right, we're about to be, we're, we're going home in this lifetime, man. All right, because Yahweh Shah said that that um, that many righteous men and prophets, you know, roughly paraphrasing, many righteous men and prophets desire to see the things which we see, you know, like, you know, uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah. They wrote of, of the, uh, they wrote the prophecies, but they really did not understand them. All right, but we're living in the times where the prophecies, the, 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 the things that the ancient prophets wrote about, we're living what we're living it, man. All right. Therefore, we understand what they did not understand, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what. And again, Yahweh said that the ancient, the ancient, uh, the righteous men, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, of course, and the prophets uh, desire to see the things that we see. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we're here and we're and we're living it, man. We're watching it. All right. So, hey, this is the time where we're about to go home, man. This is the time where our Lord Yahweh is about to return. How you doing, man? God bless you too, man. All right, this is the time where, you know he's scoffing, man, you know, eat a mic, it's whatever, man. But, you know what I'm saying, we're living in those times, man, where we're about to see our Lord Yahweh shall come back in his glorified state. And what does the scripture say in John? It say, um, you know, when the Lord will, when the Lord shall appear, we shall be like him, man. In 1 John, or is it 2 John? But it says that when the Lord shall appear, we shall be like him, man. All right, we're living in those times where we're going to see the Lord in his glorified body. All right? Going into uh, Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse. Oh, Salaki, I'm in Isaiah. I'm tripping. Jeremiah is what I'm looking for. And Esau, you know, to Esau, you know, hey, this is a joke, man. But it's not going to be a joke when we in the kingdom, man. Best believe that. And that's why I don't really get up for it. That's why I don't really, that's why I don't really get uh, moved by, you know, these people playing games, man. Eh, don't really move me. Even when Jake playing games, it don't really move me, man, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, all right? I'm doing what the Lord sent me out here to do, so it is what it is, man. So at the end of the day, we're going to see, we're going to see what was funny, man. You know what I mean? That's why, you know, that's why the Lord got us out here doing this, man, because when these people come against us, you know, and scoff and mock, all right? When they do all this, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be in the famine, all right? They're going to be in the midst of destruction, all right? The scripture says to work on that on your salvation with fear and trembling. So everybody's going to go through, you know, their tribulation individually, man. So if you ain't got it, all right, you go through that that, that trouble, hey, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on my salvation while, you know, doing what the Lord told us to do, man. Preach this word. But this is Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse uh, 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is there a wicked, um, so like, is there wisdom vanished? All right, you know, and I want to get the scripture to say this and this whole pandemic thing going on don't make any sense at all. All right, their wisdom is vanishing, man. Their witchcraft is not working. Everybody's waking up, and again, that this goes back to the word of the most high being preached. All right, this word is causing an, an, an effect. All right, it's peeling back the veil, the, the, the witchcraft, the uh. You know, the darkness that Esau had them put over the people, man. You know, it's pulling all of this back. All right? And because all this is being pulled back, Esau got no more stops. He don't know what to do no more, man. All right? Is their wisdom pe uh, uh, perished? All right? How come all this is not working? Hey, the book of Isaiah 47, where I just left off at, it says to stand now with thine enchantments. All right? If so be, thou may be able to prevail. All right? Your enchantments is not working no more. All right? Your lies is not working no more. You know? 
So is your wisdom perished? How come none of it is working no more? That's because the Lord is greater than you. His word is greater than what you're doing. The Lord created you as the wicked. So if you think you're going to get one up on the Lord, you're out of your mind. All right, and that's your pride that have, this, uh, that have deceived you. All right? Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is your wisdom vanished? Flee ye turn back. Go deep, O inhabitants of the, uh, the Dan, where I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. All right? And, and, and Esau know this, man. The, elite, the wicked elite, they know, all right, that this, is, that this time right now, the Lord is getting ready to visit him, man. He's getting ready to visit them, all right? Because the elite know that they're going into slavery, but their thing is that they, uh, they, they're trying to fight it. They're trying to fight against the Heavenly Father. They're trying to fight against, all right, the creator of heavens and earth, man. All right? Because what did the Lord say in Exodus? That he will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. And that's how we know those people over there in the land is the tribe of Amalek, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? That's how we know they're the tribe of Amalek. All right? Because also, they're the, they're the, uh, they're the head tribe of the nation of Edom. All right? But also, they're the ones who push the wickedness against the heavenly uh, against the, uh, the heavenly father's people, the children of Israel. All right? They're the ones who fund rap music. All right? This, destruct this, this destructive rap music, all right? They fund, you know what I'm saying, black culture, all right? BLM is being funded by a so-called Jew named George Soros, all right? They have to say so in this in, in their kingdom of what goes in your neighborhood, man, all right? The so-called Jews are the ones, all right, who do all these things, this wickedness, man. That's how we know that they're Amalek, man, because they, they're warring against the uh, people of, the, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And if, you want to get, and if you're fighting against the people of the Lord, you're fighting against the Lord himself, man, all right? Because the Lord said that, hey, the children of Israel are the, uh, the apple of his eye. All right? He said that he that touches, touches uh, Slaki, he that touches you, touches the apple of mine eye. All right? The nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, are the apple of, of, of the Most High's eye. How about Shem man? All right? And the fact that uh, Amalek doesn't touch the apple of his eye, you warn with him, man. All right? You don't, you don't got into a war that you're not going to win, Esau. All right? And he's getting ready to bring that calamity upon you. And you see this, man. You know you're going into captivity. All right? If grape, if grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some green grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. All right? Because when Esau, you know, Esau don't have a stopping point. All right? He keep going, man. All right? He keep going, man. No, hey, when, when he's still, he's still at all. When he destroy, he destroy it all, man. He doesn't have a stopping point. All right? Even, even, even right now. All right, they're not going to stop with their wickedness, man. They want to go above and beyond, hence this thing called meta. All right, they want to go to the infinity and beyond, bro. All right? And, he, and let's say, hypothetically speaking, if he were to get that meta thing going on, that wouldn't be enough. He want to get more. All right? This is describing the so-called white man. He never has enough. All right? And this is what we're getting out of this verse. All right? He never, ha he never have enough. You have all the riches in the world. You never have enough. All right? And this is what we out here prophesying uh, against you, man. We're prophesying your destruction. We're prophesying your, your wickedness, your, your, your hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we're saying all this, man. Simultaneously preaching, you know what I'm saying, uh, salvation to our people. To the downtrodden of our people. All right? And they say, verse 10, But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren... And his neighbor and he is not all right going back to uh second thessalonians and then shall that wicked be revealed the lord done uh done made esau bear through the preaching of this word man all right esau is not able to escape all right through his lies and his witchcraft no more man all right it's over for esau all right and that's how we know that we we had we had the last leg of his kingdom man this is it for the so-called white man all right Um, it says, uh, I'm going to jump down to um, 13, right? Because we're dealing with America, man. America, which have different code names in the scriptures. You know, you got Babylon the Great, Nineveh, all right, Assyria, all right, Ashur. All right, if you have a spiritual uh, understanding, if you have the spiritual understanding, you'll know when the Lord is actually speaking about America in the scriptures and when he's not speaking about America in the scriptures, man. All right? <clears throat> Verse 13, it say, For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, that Basra, see Basra, this is speaking of America, man. Why? Because 
this is where the Edomites dwell. This is where the Edomites rule, man. You know, because you know, most of the time, man, when you see in the scriptures, <clears throat> you know where I say Basra or whatever, you know, just know that, you know, that's speaking of a people, you know what I'm saying, before it's a place, because you have some people that make the argument that, you know, you know where Esau, the land of Edom is, you know, was it Petra, Jordan, that the Edomites are done away with, or the Edomites are not there no more, so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying, they believe it's talking about the land, but when you think about it, it's actually talking about the people, man, because where the people cultivates, or wherever they set up shop, all right, that's where, you know what I'm saying, more than likely the Lord is talking about, all right, because Edom, he done, he done uh, Esau, the so-called white people, they done, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, migrated through all the earth, man. All right, if that's the word, if that's the correct term to use. They done cultivated the whole earth. They're everywhere now. All right, so wherever Esau is dwelling at right now, all right, but mainly here in America, but wherever he's dwelling at, all right, that's where the Lord is coming to visit. All right, Yahweh Shah is coming to visit Babylon the Great. America, though, man. All right? Yahweh Shah coming to see you, at least, man. All right? Yahweh Shah coming to see you, Rothschilds, man, you Rockefellers. All right, get ready. All right? Get ready to see our Lord and Savior, man. Or the Son of, uh, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Alright? You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I'm going to keep doing, man. I'm going to keep exalting the name of Yahweh Shah, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the Lord's... Uh, this is the Lord's... Uh, this is the Lord's time, man. Alright? We just here doing what He uh, sent us to do, man. But this is the Lord's time. Alright? He's going to be exalted. Alright? When we out here. <clears throat> it says... For I have sworn by myself... Saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. I have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her and rise up to the battle. All right, and this is what the Lord is doing. He's going to bring these nations, starting with Russia, against America, man. All right, because, hey, you got war talk going on with Russia, all right, in, uh, in America, man. All right, Iran, all these nations are about to come against America. Why? Because the Lord is going to put it in their minds to fulfill his will, all right? And also, the, uh, the beast, NATO and the EU, is also going to come against America. All right, yeah, they're on friendly terms right now, but the Lord is going to have it happen to where the beast, NATO and the EU, shoot nuclear missiles here at America, all right? You proud Americans don't know what's going on. You proud Americans are going to get hit with a hard one, man. All right? When it hits you, it's going to shock you. All right? When you hear those nuclear sirens going off, all right? When, when, when that timer is, uh, come, uh, when that voice is counting down, all right? Amer uh, nuclear missiles coming down in this amount of minutes, in, in 30 minutes. You know, hypersonic missiles going to be shot here at America, man. Okay? But continuing on. It say, um, <clears throat> verse 15, for lo, I will make thee small among the heathen. This is pretty much, you know, what Obadiah was saying too, man. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Thy terribleness have deceived thee and the, and the pride of thine heart, O that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence Except the Lord. And this is talking about who? Esau Edom. The so-called white man. Alright, because the Lord then gave him the uh, the power of the earth. Alright, the power. You right? Job 9 and 24 said that the earth uh, the uh, Let me get that real quick. Job 9 and 24 say that the uh, Let me get it real quick. I can't believe I'm I can't believe it, man. This is one of the base the most this is one of the the, the the basic scriptures, one of the first scriptures I learned, you know, when I uh, when I uh, came into this truth. This is uh, Job 9 and 24. There it goes. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where who is he? And I believe that's why I can't say it, man, because I was quoting the wrong scripture. I was saying Job 24. But when I say Job 9 and 24, it kind of follows. It follows through. You know what I'm saying? When I say Job 9 and 24, it's like an automatic thing with me. So that was my, that was my bad. <clears throat> but it say, I'm going to restart and reread re that. It's getting a little windy out here. I may just shut it off real, uh, real quick. It's getting ready to rain hard out here, man. Verse 15. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Thy terribleness have deceived thee and the pride of thine heart, O that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. This is talking about the Edomites. 
the so-called white man. This where they came from was the caves, man. All right, that's their original habitat. All right, from the caves. That holy, the height of the hill. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. All right, he's talking about their pride, man. All right, because the fact that they've been given the power and they're up on high, they're prideful now, man. They think they're proud. They think that they're the most shot. All right, and we know to what we know what the Lord did to these different kings. All right, that became proud, right? Uh, take take Nebuchadnezzar for example. He got proud, man, and the Lord humbled him. All right, the Lord made him. Uh, put them in a uh, in a state of a beast, man, eating grass and shit, man. All right, let me get it. Let me get the account of um after he after he came into his right mind, man. All right, this is what Nebuchadnezzar said, Daniel chapter four and verse seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over the bases of men. All right. So the Most High set up the basis of men in rulership, and the basis of men have gotten proud. It's not boasting against the Heavenly Father, all right? The basis of men thinks that He's the Most High now, man, all right? But the Lord said, I'm going to bring you from thence. I'm going to bring you from that lofty and high position that you're at right now, all right? And I'm going to humble you, all right? I will bring thee down from thence, said the Lord. Verse 17, right? Also Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished. And shall hiss at all the plays. Hey, damn. All right, that was the that was the place of beauty. All right, America. All right, because the Lord is gonna bring bring forth the plagues and the judgment against America. All right, these different nations that are in between in, in the midst of this place. All right, these, hey, these different nations that see the uh, the nuclear missiles be shot down here, they're gonna be hissing, man. God damn. All right, this was America. All right, the the Lady of Kingdoms. Now look at her. All right. She's burning. You know? Revelation the 18th chapter uh, uh, tells you that nations are gonna are, are gonna well, they're gonna mourn because of her burning, man. Uh, they're gonna they, they, they're gonna mourn when uh these different nations shoot nuclear missiles at America. Alright, why? Because they're not gonna be making that money no more. Alright, because I remember stating this before. Uh, when you look on the back of your um your products, you know, whatever you have, maybe a TV or microwave, you see it says made in China, made in Japan, made in Taiwan. All right, so on and so forth. Well, that's how these nations got rich by selling their products, you know, uh, in America to America, man. All right. But now, when America is destroyed, hey, America's not gonna be here for them to sell no more. All right. Therefore, they're not gonna be making that 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 cheese no more, man. All right. It's gonna be a, a done deal. All right. Verse 18. Uh, let me read 17 again. Right. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished. And shall hiss at all the plagues, all right, and that ultimate plague being the nuclear missiles, as I just stated, right? As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, say if the Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. You know? And we understand, all right, we understand now, we should understand now how the Lord overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? Fire and brimstone, man, all right? He overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah by fire, and to this day, nobody inhabit that land. Well, that's going to be the future, man, of America. That's how. That's what America is going to be, all right? The Lord is going to rain fire upon America, and it's not going to be inhabited, all right? Then the other scripture dealing with that, all right? The other, because, he, hey, these proud Americans don't believe that they're going to fall. These proud Americans don't believe that, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be a day of destruction. All right, nuclear missiles are going to be shot over here. Hey, they don't, hey, these proud Americans... All right, those that are really proud, they don't believe that World War III is going to happen. And if it does happen, that they're going to be the ones winning it, that they're going to be the ones on top of it. Well, the Lord ain't with America. All right, they, 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 they like to say, God bless America. Well, the Lord is not with America. All right, he's against America, man. All right, and we're, and we're about to see it in the coming days, man, the coming future. All right, the coming days, lock you. And it's coming, and it's coming quickly, man. We in those times, like I just stated, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 13 and verse... I'm going to get straight to the point, right? 19, and Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms. That's the, that's the beautiful thing, too, because the visions that the prophets were seeing, man, they were seeing the same thing, all right? And they wrote about it, you know, and it, you know what I'm saying? They, they kind of, they wrote about it in a different uh, in a different perspective, so to speak, man. All right, it, does, it doesn't sound the same, but they were all you know, prophesying of the same thing, the coming of our Lord, Yahweh shot. They all prophesied of the coming of our Lord, 
the destruction that the destruction that he was coming with all right they all prophesied of babylon man all right they uh let me let me word it like this they all prophesied of america all right but they 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 all they said it in the best way that they could all right for example isaiah 34 says that um <clears throat> that the heavens departed as a scroll all right what is that talking about that's talking about the mushroom cloud after the nuclear missiles be shot down over here all right so they, they described it the best way that they could right the best way that they knew all right how you doing man this is isaiah chapter 13 and verse isaiah 13 and verse um Nineteen, it says, and Babylon, the glory of the king, uh, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Just, the, just what I read in Jeremiah, right? Babylon is going to be just like uh, what the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah, fire and brimstone. All right, it's going to be burning for a long time too. You know, America is going to be burning for a long time. All right, and after, and after it's done burning, after the smoke clear, nobody's going to live there. Like I'm about to read. <clears throat> It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherd make their fold there. All right? Nobody's going to be dwelt here, man. All right? Nobody's going to dwell in the midst of America, man. All right? It's gonna be, this place is going to be an unfruitful land after the Lord, uh, the Lord gets done with it. All right? But this is going to dwell there, though. Verse 21, But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, <clears throat> And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satire shall dance there. So this is what's going to dance, uh, dwell here in America. These different creatures, man. All right. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in the desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. <clears throat> and their time is near to come, and their days shall not be prolonged. All right. These prophecies are not going to prolong anymore, man, because once the let, once the Lord. Let the uh, let these uh, prophecies are uh, you know through so to speak. All right, they're not going to prolong, man. Everything is going to happen, and when it happens, full fledged, man. All right, America is not going to be inhabited by any man no more, man. All right, all right, a hey, different creatures, you know, scorpions, owls, all right, satires, all these abominable creatures are going to are, are going to uh, dwell in America. Pretty much lays it out for you how the Lord feel about America, man. All right. All right, and I'm getting ready to shut it down pretty soon, man. You know, because I believe the point is made. I just wanted to um, come out here and know, prophesy, all right, uh, hey, we in those times. You know what I'm saying? We in those times where, and when I say we in those times, I'm not I'm not just going to, you know what I'm saying, put it to something specific. I'm talking about when we, and I say we in those times, man, I'm trying to overshadow everything, man. I'm trying to, like, touch everything, all right? All right, destruction happening, salvation, Yahweh shot coming back. All right, Esau going down. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to cover everything, man. <clears throat> um, this is Second Ezra, chapter uh, six and verse eighteen. They say, and it's and it said, <clears throat> I'm gonna start from um seventeen. And it happened that when I had heard, <clears throat> so like in my voice getting hurt, you know what I mean? I'm, um, I'm going to end it off shortly here. And it happened that when I heard it, talking about the voice of the Lord, right? I stood upon my feet, up upon my feet, <clears throat> and hearkened, and behold, there was a voice that spake, and the sound of it was like the sound of many waters. All right, this is the voice of Yahweh Shai. All right? The voice of Yahweh Shai. Because what does it say in um, Revelation? What does it say in Revelation? Uh, let me get that real quick. I just want to prove that it's speaking about Lord Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because in Revelation, the first chapter, um, John the Re Revelator all right, also described the Lord's voice in this manner, right? This is John chapter uh, 1 and verse. Yep, John chapter 1 and verse 15. <clears throat> I'm going to start from 13 
It says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. And this is talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, right? This is who the people out here call Jesus Christ. Listen to what it, how it describes him. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about, about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as the flame of fire. All right, white like wool. The Lord had a uh, white woolly hair. All right, that white hair, you know, represents the wisdom, man. All right, and also he had woolly hair. Okay, it says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. All right, Yahweh Shai had the voice of many waters, man, a deep, loud voice, man. All right, and, and, and then when you think about that, I kind of think of it like a, he had an authoritative vo a voice. All right, Author authoritative voice, man. But let me read that again, man, because I I, I, uh, I wanted to hit on that point of um, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if it, as, as if they burn in a furnace. You know, brass is a deri derivative of brown, so when you burn it, it becomes a darker uh, darker color. So Yahweh Shai was a dark skinned man. All right, a dark brown skinned man, man. All right. So that just I just want to you know, know the, to prove that. Our Lord Yahweh Shah is, is a so-called black man, all right? And he's coming to take down the so-called white man, all right? No if, ands, or but, you so-called white people, y'all finished, man, all right? But it's going to 2 Ezra, chapter uh, 6, going back to the point that I was making. <clears throat> Slack your arm. I'm getting back to that point um, where, I, where I left off at. The second Ezra, chapter uh, six and verse nineteen, and it says, "I'm gonna start back at uh, seventeen. And it happened that when I heard it, I stood upon my feet and hearkened, and behold, there was a voice that spake, and the sound of it was like the sound of many waters." Yahweh Shai, and it said, "Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh." And to visit them that dwell upon the uh, the earth. We're living in those days, man. All right, we're living in, those, in, in the days where Yahweh Shai right, is coming to visit them that dwell upon the earth. All right, and that's why we're so excited, man. That's why when we see these current events, different things happening on the news, that's why we're so excited. Matter of fact, you know, before I came out here, I was watching different brothers' videos. You know, mainly the brothers in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? They had a brother come. All right, in sincerity, man, in truth. All right. And, and, and brother was eating, man. All right, they were feeding the brother through these scriptures, man. All right, it was a beautiful thing, and that you know, that 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 put you know what I'm saying the spirit that put the spirit in me, the energy in me to come out here and preach, man. You know, that put the energy out in me to uh, come out here and preach, man. All right. But continuing on, they say, and will begin to make inquisition of them, uh, of them, what they be that have hurt unjustly, what their unrighteousness. And when, they have, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled, you know, and them that hurt unjustly is who? So-called white people, all right? Because going back to, uh, you know, the, uh, the times of slavery, what they did to our people, all right? The time when Christopher Columbus came here, all right, he massacred the so-called Latinos and the Native Americans, man, all right? Them that commit, uh, commit, hey, he committed genocide on our people, man, all right? They came over here and hurt unjustly, all right? Esau went to... You know, Esau went to Africa, all right, gathered our people, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, from the, so -called, from the Hamites, all right, brought them here. And even on the way to here, they were throwing them off ships, all right, breaking their teeth out because they didn't want to eat, all right. They hurt unjustly. So the Lord is getting ready to come back, all right, to visit them, the so-called white men, so-called white people. Because even when, all right, our people got here to the Americas, what were they doing? All right, they were whipping our people in the backs, <clears throat> right? Whipping our people in the backs, all right? Lynching our people, burning our people, all right? For what? For no reason, man, all right? So to, so, so, ultimately, Yahweh Shah is coming back <clears throat> to visit them, all right? Yahweh Shah is coming to a kingdom ruled by Esau Edom, all right? Who in these times is the so-called white people, all right? And I'm not, and, I, and, I, and I'm not afraid to, to 
bring these things out, man. I'm not gonna shy away from the truth, man. All right. The truth is what these people are afraid of, but the truth is gonna come out, man. To hell with these uh, Edomites, man. <clears throat> right. As a matter of fact, let me get the, uh, this scripture right here, man. In um the book of Isaiah. Yeah, it's getting dark out there, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it off, man. Now, I just want to come out here before it gets dark. I hate coming out here during the dark, man. You know what I'm saying? That's when the mosquitoes come out, bro. So, you know what I mean? I just want to come out here when it was, uh, the sun was still up and shining. But, um, let me get Isaiah 63 to prove that our Lord Yahweh Shah is coming back to an Edomite ruled empire, man. All right? And Esau, there's nothing that you can do to get you out of your, uh, your destruction. Nothing you can do to get you out of your, uh, your slavery, man. All right, this is it for you. All right? This is Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 1. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? <clears throat> this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. This is uh. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai, dark garments from Basra, right? Verse 2, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treads in the wine fat? All right, this is describing the killing, all right, the destruction, the the the, 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 shalaki, the killing and destruction that Yahweh Shai coming to do to, to these so-called white people, man. All right, he's coming to, uh, to visit them. For I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, <clears throat> and I will stand on my raiment. Like, and again, this is describing the, the, the killing that Yahweh Shah is coming to do uh, among, among these Edomites, man. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. All right, this is another, this is a, another scripture talking about the Lord redeeming us, man, from the hand of our enemies. All right? So simultaneously, as he's, as he's taking vengeance upon Esau Edom, he's delivering the elect. You know? So call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Alright? So I want to get one more scripture. And I'm going to end it off beautifully with Malachi chapter 3 and 16, man. Because this is where our hope lies. Alright, again, like I started the lesson, to hell what you niggas talking about, you're going to take down a so-called white man. By yourself, to hell what you niggas talking about. Yahweh Shah is not to be worshipped or praised. All right, how the hell else are you gonna get the hell out of here, man? All right, tell what you niggas that say that we ain't gotta, you know, uh, depend on Yahweh Shah to be sal to get salvation. All right, hey. At the end of the day, you believe what you believe, and we're gonna believe what we believe, and we're gonna see, you know, we're gonna see who make it out of here, man. All right, we're gonna see who make it out of here. This is um Malachi, chapter three and verse who um. 16 and they say then they that feared the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai spake often one to another and the Lord hearkened and heard it and the book of remembrance was written before them before him for them talking about the book of life right that feared the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and, and thought upon his name and he's talking about the elect because only the elect is going to fear the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and only the, only the elect are going to think upon his name man all right, in truth and sincerity. Okay. It say, uh, verse seventeen, and they shall be, shit, like him. and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And that day will not make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and, and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him. That serveth them not. Alright? And that's what we're doing. Through, through, through this understanding that the Lord gave us, now we're not able to we're now able to discern between righteous and wickedness, man. Alright? We we, we we now know both sides of the spectrum. You know? We know what pleases the Lord and what pisses him off. Alright, we're able to dis to discern. Alright. But the scripture I wanted to get was. Verse 2 of Malachi 4, right? But unto you that fear my name, matter of fact, let me start from 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, 
and all that proud, yet all, yet and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble, and the and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither new, or root nor branch. Why? Because the Lord is going to send thermonuclear missiles here at here in Babylon the Great, America, and also the the the, the, the fire from the chariots, concentrated laser beams is going to consume this place altogether, man. All right, and all the on all the proud Americans. All the proud uh, Edomites, all the proud Israelites, and the rest of these nations are going to stay down here and burn. All right, they're going to be left down here and burn. Thus says the Lord, man. All right. It says, verse two, but unto you that fear my name, the son of righteousness, which is Yahweh Shai, shall a uh, righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as a uh, calf of the stall. All right. So when Yahweh Shai return, he's coming back to deliver the elect. Heal the elect, all right. He's gonna change the vile bodies, all right. He's gonna change the uh, corrupt from corruptible, change them from corruptible to incorruptible, from mortal to immortal, all right. We're gonna be perfect, man, all right. And this is gonna only come by way of our Lord Yahweh Shah, all right. So, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. Lord willing, I had the points, all right. And you brothers and you few sisters, you were edified. I'm gonna end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory. And to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. And double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we in those times, man. Uh, we in those times, things are about to speed up. Things are about to get uh, uh, heavy out here. We in some dark yet beautiful times, man. All right? And we only hastening the day. We hastening the day of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. We hastening these prophecies. All right? Because the quicker these prophecies come, all right? Uh, the, the quicker these prophecies come, all right? Hey, the, the quicker we go home, man. All right, so, hey, Shalom, until next time, peace.